Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the most comprehensive preparation platform for all competitive exams by Juice Exam Prep. And warm welcome to the Coffee with Concept series. All dear champions, the today's concept with coffee is very interesting concept and very important concept because this concept based questions we see in the gate exam very frequently. So the concept is find minimum number of resources required to prevent the deadlock in just 15 seconds. We know deadlock is a situation where processes are mutually waiting for each other for indefinite time. So if we want to prevent the deadlock. What is the meaning of prevention which assure that if we can follow the measures, preventive measures, deadlock can never occur. So the measures that assure that deadlock never occur, we call them as preventive measures. Whereas avoidance measures cannot guarantee that deadlock never occur. So that is the biggest difference between prevention and avoidance. So for prevention, we have two measures, two ways. One, by making any of the four conditions, mutual exclusion, no preemption, hold and wait, circular wait, false. By making any of these four conditions false, we can prevent the deadlock, but that is practically not feasible. So the other way to prevent is, by providing sufficient number of resources. So here comes the question, sufficient means how many? As the resources are expensive, we can't have as many resources as we want. So we have to find the minimum number of resources to prevent the deadlock. So this complex task we can do in just 15 seconds. So guys, watch this coffee with concept till the end of the session so that you can really, really calculate the minimum number of resources in just 15 seconds, right? So suppose we are given that there are five processes and every process require two resources to complete. Okay. Assume all the resources are identical means all the resources are copies of each other means any resource you give it is okay like five mouse four printers two keyboards all are identical resources then with minimum how many resources deadlock never occur means deadlock can be prevented so how we do this let us see first of all we don't know any shortcut let us see how we can do it there are five processes, every process require two resources. Henceforth, henceforth, if there are 10 resources, definitely deadlock can never occur. Let us say there are, let us say there are five processes P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. And there are 10 resources R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, R8, R9, R10. Okay, R9, R10. Wait a minute. Hmm. So, if we give two, two resources for every process, as every process want two resources, it, it is feeded with sufficient number of resources. Every process can go to running state and go for termination. So there is no deadlock, isn't it? So with the 10 resources, there is no deadlock. Okay, so compulsorily 10 are required. Can't we manage with less than that? Okay, then let us try with the eight resources. Let's say we have eight resources for five processes where each process want two two resources okay 
let's say i am giving the first resource only one resource to p1 two resources to p2 two resources to p3 one resource to p4 and two resources to p5 here if you see p1 and p4 are feeded with only one resource while it required two resources but the other three is three processes p2 p3 p5 feeded with sufficient number of resources two two resources so p2 will complete its execution p3 will complete its execution p5 also once they complete they will release the resources that they are held held with then p1 p4 can acquire one one among them so here there is starvation for p2 and p4 but there is no deadlock so with eight resources also we can manage we can make sure deadlock will not occur so eight is the minimum number can't we manage with even less than that okay let's try with six resources let's say i am having six resources while five processes are there every process want two two resources for completion if so let's say one resource i have given for p1 one resource i have given for p2 one resource i have given for p3 two resources i have given allocated for p4 and one resource allocated for p5 let us suppose let us suppose if so we have given two resources for any process yes for p4 we have given so p4 is feeded with sufficient number of resources so that p4 will go for execution complete its execution terminate once it terminate it release these two resources r4 r5 after p4 termination then these resources may be allocated to two other processes then they will terminate after that the other two processes will terminate so in this way starvation could be there for some processes but deadlock will not occur right so is 6 is the minimum number okay let's try with 5 let's say we are having five resources there are five processes p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 and there are five resources the worst case allocation can be allocate one one resource for every process one one resource if so every process is waiting for one more resource and we have no resources available and no process is feeded completely so every process is waiting for one resource how long indefinitely so with five resources definitely we cannot we cannot assure guarantee that deadlock never occur because in this way if allocation is done this is one of the probabilities of allocation in this way if allocation is done definitely deadlock occur so with minimum how many resources we can prevent the deadlock in this scenario six resources so the minimum number is 6 so once identify understand what is the logic behind this if every process wanted two two resources we have feeded we have feeded only one process completely and remaining all the processes we have feeded only with one resource when when every process wanted two we have feeded one that means if a process require m resources you don't feed with m you feed one less than that and have one extra resource as a buffer resource that you can give for one of the processes so that that will complete and then other processes can complete one after another so this is the logic behind it so here let us apply that logic without doing all the trials right 
Suppose there are six processes that require six, seven, five, eight, three, and four resources respectively. Okay. So what is the logic we are following when P1 want six resources, allocate only five resources to it. That means six minus one. And when P2 want seven, allocate only six. That means one less. And when P3 is looking for five, allocate only four resources. When P4 is looking for three, allocate only two resources. So then its requirement allocate satisfy one less. So P5 want four resources, allocate only three resources first. Okay. Now have one extra resource that you can allocate for either of this. Then every process was actually looking for one resource. Now you are allocating that one resource to one of these processes. Then that allocated process is feeded with sufficient resources. So that will complete. After that other processes also go on getting the resources and complete. Hence minimum number of resources here. Minimum resources. How many? 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 and one extra resource. This one. Right? So, this would be 5 plus 6, 11 plus 4, 15 plus 2, 17 plus 3, 20 plus 1. If we have 21 resources, then we can make sure deadlock is prevented. So, let us put this in the formula manner. What we are doing? Every process was looking for i resources. Let us say we are allocating i minus 1 resources and we are having one extra resource. So, if we keep that in the formula, let m be the number of resources, minimum number of resources required and we are supposed to find this m value and n be the number of processes and r i be the resource requirement of process p i. Then for a deadlock not to occur, what we have to do sum of resource requirements must be less than m plus n or m must be greater than all resource requirements minus 1 whole plus 1. So, this is what actually we were following and from this only the above formula has come. Let us say there are n resources. So, okay, let, let us say there are n resources. And every resource is looking for, let us say, i i number of, let us say there are n processes, sorry, every process want i number of resources. So, for every process we are feeding with 1 less i minus 1, i minus 1, so on i minus 1. And all together we are having one extra resource. So, minimum we should have this or you can have more than that. So, minimum or more that means the number of resources must be greater than or equal to this. So, m must be greater than or equal to see this. How many times we are doing this i minus 1, i minus 1, i minus 1, n times. So, it is n into resource requirements all the resource requirements minus 1 plus 1. So, m must be greater than or equal to n into resource requirements minus n plus 1, is not it? Right? So, so, we are doing this sum of resource requirements. So, m plus n must be greater than or equal to sum of resource requirements plus 1. Now, we want to remove this equal to symbol, then we can say sum of resource requirements must be less than m plus n. This 1 is will be removed. 
that means from the below formula only above formula has come so use this formula now you can quickly calculate minimum resources required to prevent the deadlock okay just if you want i resources allocate i minus 1 for every process as i have shown here in the previous problem and all together have one extra resource and sum up that is the minimum number of resources clear guys i hope with this the concept of finding minimum resources to prevent the deadlock is very much clear i believe so if so guys everybody solve this homework problem and give your answer in the comment section okay that's all i hope uh, you enjoyed this concept learning the concept in this coffee with concept series stay tuned to by juice exam prep keep learning keep growing thank you so much have a nice time Bye-bye.